Hey, what's going on guys? Crow back here with another video and uh, collaborating with uh, my, my man J-Man. What's up, y'all? Um, you know, got a new guest, um, you know, because fuck Wally. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. We all love Wally, but... Um, just Wally. <laughs> but uh, today is another alcohol review, and we finally got that Jägermeister. A.K.A. the Stag, baby. Selected 56... Botanicals, is that how you say it? Uh, yeah, it'd be, it would be botanicals. So. <laughs> Botesticals, yeah. uh, you know, is the Jägermeister. Crafted by that, uh, that master, the Jägermeister, Southeast Germany, since 1878. 35% alcohol per volume. This is, uh, the 375 milliliter. But, uh, it's enough, you know, enough to get you drunk. For those of you who do not know, when it was created in the late 1800s, one of the chief ingredients was actually deer blood, aka the stag on the bottle. So, you know, you, if you want to go out to Germany, you know, you might be able to find, say, a really, really old bottle of it that still has it in it. And, you know, you definitely want to try that because that's a piece of history right there. Jägermeister, not a sponsor. Definitely not a sponsor, but I really wish it was because it's definitely my favorite. So, uh, fill me in on your uh, your process for your reviews, then. So, what do you do? <clears throat> All right, first, uh, I mean, this it's usually the presentation. You know, it's a nice <coughs> bottle. Got the deer with the cross above them. Uh, that's a one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a twelve-point buck right there. My favorite thing they've always done with the bottle is the like the, the glass work, the name into the side of it, and that's really cool. Yeah, you got the Jaeger on the side, and uh, just a nice paragraph on the back. Your hands hold our Jaegermeister, ew. crafted from a secret and closely guarded German recipe of 56 hand-selected botanicals, out of which our essence is gently extracted. Hopefully not deer blood anymore, but... Uh, it then resides in oak barrels and is blended to harmonize the herbal liqueur. Best served, ice cold, drink responsibly. Jägermeister.com, herbal liqueur, or liqueur, not sponsor. But, uh, yeah, pretty nice. And um, after that, the smell, I mean, it definitely just smells like licorice. Um, I definitely love the smell. I'm a big fan of Jägermeister, so I know the... The general, you know, the, I guess the layman's of the brewing process, or the, I guess, uh, what would you call it? It's not brewing if it's liquor, but what is it called? Uh, um, you're eight. letting it sweat or whatever? Yeah, yeah, but, uh, they make it from, like, this certain tree root, and it's kind of like a licorice -y, you know, real bitter, just, and that's what gives it, like, the sweet, bitter smell and taste, so... Yeah, really good stuff. They used to use it as cold medicine in like the fucking sixties. So <laughs> yeah, the taste, it, the taste definitely is like a a licorice flavored cough syrup, but like in a good way. It's definitely it's licorice, black licorice all day, but I love it. You know, it's weird. I hate Twizzlers, but I love this. <laughs> definitely love this. Well, that's what we think licorice is today, but the real licorice is like the black licorice that's made with actual licorice, I think, or most of the time. But, uh, yeah, good and plenties, those taste exactly like black uh, licorice, too. But, um, you know, with the Buzz Factor Jägermeister, it's, uh, I don't know, it's a, it's a creeper type of buzz, I would say. With me, with me, like... When I was when I was like nineteen, I drank a whole half gallon of it at one time, and it was over the course of probably five hours. And you know, I didn't get like fall down drunk until probably hour five or six. You know, two hours afterwards, because you know it, it took a little while, even after drinking so much of it, for it to really set in. And you know, for being fifty dollars for a half gallon, you know, it's it's not top shelf, it's not bottom shelf. You know, you're not going to spend a lot of money, but you're still getting that high quality of a buzz. And that's why I really think it's a good choice. You know, people will say they don't like it because of the taste. Well, you know, I've never really met a scotch drinker 
that like drinking scotch because of what it tasted like. It's because of how much of it they could drink and what type of buzz they could get off of it versus how much money they're spending on it, you know, that type of thing. So That's how I feel about Senators Club. Uh, very cheap, but it gets me fucked up, and I'll still have plenty left, you know, for the next night. Um, yeah, you would say Jägermeister is your, like, ev not everyday alcohol, but your first choice of alcohol. Yes. Yeah, yeah, my first choice of alcohol would probably be Senators Club. That's just, like, my go-to. Uh, here's the top. Um, <clears throat> just, like, Copenhagen Wintergreen is my go-to dip. Might as well throw one in before this video is over, but... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw a shout-out to uh, Two Up, Two Down Vape, vape Juice. Uh, vape Nash. Right out of Virginia. Local brand. Really good brand. Got a lot of flavors. Not a sponsor. <laughs> I'm also going to shout it out to the Smock Company because they're a really great company. Make the Alien. Just got this the other day. Really, really good. Not a sponsor also. <laughs> I had to milk your nipple. It looked nice. Also, if anybody out there in the YouTube world wants to know more about me, uh, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm at jakeskates.144 or just, uh, you know, follow me on Snapchat, the same thing. Uh, just hit me up. I'm always available, always posting stuff. And yeah, hang out with the crow almost every week, so I might, I might be back here soon. Got the uh, Hunter Orange mud jug out here with me. You know, I know what everybody's thinking. You know, we're doing an alcohol review in the car. We're not driving after we do this review. We're not doing it. We're going back inside. Keys are not in the ignition, ladies and gentlemen. We don't do that around here. We're not R. Kelly. <laughs> we're not R. Kelly. <laughs> Oh wait, he peed on somebody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, who, who you thinking of? Uh, shit, we're not Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley. <laughs> He'd be getting drunk and going on ESPN. <laughs> I love watching him play golf. That was the best. He's like not good at golf. <laughs> but uh, with the Jägermeister overall. We haven't explained that yet, but the overall... Yeah, how do you base your overall? <clears throat> um, well, first, you got to look at, you know, the price, uh, how much alcohol it is. That and, bottle right there was like $13. All right, so let's just say 14 after tax. And, you know, 35%. What, you, what was it 13 after tax or 14 after tax? 13 all right, so 13 after tax, 35% uh, alcohol, so 5% less than your regular liqueurs, but, uh, or liquors. Liqueurs are usually like 20%, but, you know, that's getting to some other shit right there, but, uh, you know, with the taste, the taste is a 10, so, and the price from a 1 to 10 with this bottle, you know, that's, uh, I'd give that a, a high rating on the prices too, so. With alcohol and all that together, I'd easily give it a nine just because I've always loved this shit, never had a problem with it. And uh, I even got a shirt that uh, my drunk friend Duke just hasn't taken back yet. Shout out to Dukey Duke. <laughs> he might make it in a video one day if, uh, you yeah, know. We can get him in one before he, if he, if if he, he sticks comes, around long enough. Comes back to reality in Virginia. <laughs> He's been kind of MIA lately. But, uh, yeah, this has been a long-ass video. I don't like to go over 10 minutes because uh, I know people don't even fucking view it for that long. So I'll see you on the next one. Might be a dip review, snooze review, video game review. You never know with the crow because I'm about to blow through your front door like a still tofu roll though. <laughs>